Good morning. This is a review on how to fold up a piece of paper into 16 sections and then to use it as a template for your sketch folder. So I'm going to fold the paper like this, holding it like this and then folding it on top of itself, matching up the corners. And then now that I've got a straight edge here, I'm going to put my thumbs here and go backwards like this and then like that. And I'm going to unfold it this way and fold it this way, doing the same thing. This way I can match up the corners. That's how you get four different cells. So I'm going to fold it one more time this way. To get eight. And one more time this way. To get 16. For this exercise, it's not critical that they be perfect. As long as you get mostly 16 squares. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use any straight edge. It doesn't have to be a ruler. Of course, rulers work the best. But I'm actually going to use my planner. And I'm going to use the side of it here as a straight edge. All I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up like this. On top of my sketch folder. Find a blank page, put your page down like this, and I'm just going to go all around and make little tick marks. Make sure to do it on the corners also. And again, I'm just putting it as close as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect for this particular assignment. But I'm just going to put tick marks all the way around. So that I end up with ticks all the way around here. Now my planner is not going to work for this one. So I'm going to need a longer straight edge. So I tore off this piece of cardboard box from the top of another box that I had and I'm just going to use this piece of cardboard. I'm going to line up my tick marks and here's the best way to line up tick marks. I'm going to put my pen down here and then I'm just going to put the, tick, the cardboard up next to it and then rotate it around until I get it right on that tick mark there. Again, this isn't super critical right now, but it will be later on. We're going to need to use a ruler for some other assignments. But for this one, for dividing out your page, I'm just going to make sure that it's straight so that I've got different cells for each area to put our drawings and our definitions into. We did this in class, but what I'd like you to do is I would like you to do it again today on a blank page in your sketch folder and turn it in as a photograph in Google Classroom. And I'm going to find a long ruler for myself because this cardboard thing is not as sturdy as I would like it to be. Oh, 
Also, I'm going to be posting on Google Classroom today a, an office hours schedule for periods four and eight so that we can have class meetings on Zoom. So expect to see that on Google Classroom this morning. So that's what your page is going to look like. And remember, we're going to do a cartoon here and a definition here.